Hi, boys and girls. Today's story is a nonfiction story. Do you remember what that means? Right. It's about real things in nature, in history, people. Our story is about an animal called the giant panda. You may have seen one at a zoo, or you may have read a book about them, but they're pretty interesting animals. I hope you enjoy this story. Giant Pandas, written and illustrated by Gail Gibbons. Misty, thick clouds hang over the mountaintops. A large black and white animal makes its way through a bamboo forest. It is a giant panda. The Chinese people call the giant panda Dao Xiong Mao, meaning big bear cat. It looks like a bear and has long claws like a cat. Giant pandas are members of the bear family. Giant panda characteristics. Adult giant pandas are about four to five feet long and normally weigh about 200 pounds. Most of the time they move slowly, but if they want to, they can move at a fast trot. Their bodies are very flexible. The fur of a giant panda is thick, coarse, and oily to keep the panda's body warm and dry. The fur is about two inches long. Giant pandas have poor eyesight, but they have excellent senses of smell and hearing. In fact, pandas are hard to find in the wild because they can hide when they smell or hear people coming. Normally, giant pandas are shy and tend to stay by themselves. When they want to communicate with one another, they use about 11 different kinds of sounds. They bark, growl, squeal, and make other sounds to mean different things. A bark means hello. Growling or snorting means I'm frightened. Giant pandas also communicate by leaving their scent to tell other pandas they are in the area. They do this by rubbing a smelly liquid from glands under their tails onto rocks or trees. Thousands of years ago, giant pandas ate only meat, but over time their diet changed to mostly plants, mainly bamboo. Occasionally they eat grass, roots, vines, honey, or even meat. Bamboo! Because bamboo is not very nutritious, giant pandas must spend between 10 and 16 hours a day eating it in order to stay strong and healthy. The average panda eats about 27 pounds of bamboo in a single day. Giant pandas have five claws on each of their paws, and they also have a special thumb on their front paws. They use their thumbs and claws to grasp the bamboo. Giant pandas use their big teeth and powerful jaws to crush and eat the bamboo stalks. They also eat the leaves. Giant pandas can be playful and athletic. They do somersaults and climb trees quite easily. Also, giant pandas can swim, holding their heads above water while they paddle with their legs. Giant pandas don't have a regular sleeping place. They sleep on the ground, in the base of a hollow tree, or wherever and whenever they feel tired. They sleep two to four hours at a time. Male and female giant pandas come together to mate in the spring. After mating, the male goes off on his own. The female makes a bed of bamboo, twigs, and grasses in a cave or among rocks or in a hollow tree. This place is called a den. In the autumn, about five months later, the mother panda gives birth to one or two babies called cubs. Immediately after giving birth, she begins nursing one of the cubs. A mother will raise only one cub at a time. Only one will survive. In their natural habitat, mothers usually give birth every one to three years. A cub is very small. It only weighs about three ounces and is about six inches long. The mother is about 900 times larger than her cub. It's amazing how gentle she can be. The cub has pink skin all over and some fuzzy white fur. Its cry sounds like a human baby. The mother holds her cub almost all the time. She won't leave to get food for herself for about one week after her cub's birth. In about 40 days, the cub opens its eyes. It has its black and white markings and is still helpless. When the mother wants to move her cub, she gently picks it up by its neck and carries it from place to place. 
At about four months old, the cub is able to crawl. At seven months old, the cub can run and climb trees. It weighs about 20 pounds and has learned how to eat bamboo. At about two years old, the young giant panda weighs around 120 pounds. It has learned all it can from its mother. Now it is time for the young panda to live on its own. In another two years, it will be able to have its own young. Over the years, the number of giant pandas has become smaller because of the destruction of their natural habitat by people, accidental deaths and traps set for other animals, and the hunting of pandas for their fur. Because of their size, adult giant pandas have few natural enemies except for people. Around 1900, there were about 65,000 giant pandas living in the wild. Today, there are fewer than 2,000. The people of China are trying to protect them. They have set aside large areas called reserves where giant pandas can live safely. Also, it is a crime to harm or kill a giant panda. In China and in a small number of other countries, scientists are trying to help increase the population of giant pandas. These pandas are cared for in captivity. The scientists try to encourage the pandas to give birth and care for their cubs. When the young giant pandas are capable of living on their own, some of them are released back into the wild nature reserves in China. Others are placed in zoos. Whenever there are giant pandas in a zoo, people love to come and see them. They look like big, chubby, black and white teddy bears that are very playful. It is so much fun watching them. Giant pandas are one of the rarest and most appealing animals in the world.